Um, I knew it was flopping. I knew it was tanking and doing bad. But I didn't expect to see this. Didn't expect this. Um, the Flash to become the worst box office flop in studio history. Andy Muschietti's The Flash is currently projected to become Warner Bros. biggest flop in studio history. Following an overwhelmingly positive word of mouth marketing campaign fueled by comments from Tom Cruise and Stephen King and DC Studio CEO James Gunn. The Flash is bombing at the domestic and global box office. Oh boy. DC, this latest DC film earned less than 100 million at the domestic box office to date. Oh my God. Stumbling into his third week, The Flash is losing 1,538 North American movie theaters, making the chance for a miraculous recovery even lower. I gotta tell you this. Um, there's going around saying that Jennifer Lawrence movie was killing it when she came out doing full frontal nudity. That was circulating all around. I mean, we already saw it. You know what I mean? When all these quote unquote leaks came out of, of uh, their phones being hacked type of stuff. Um, and then the clip was running around Twitter. And then, um, and now Indiana Jones. That's tanking bad, I'm hearing. It's, oh, good Lord. Um, box office analyst Luis Fernando recently observed that if The Flash's poor performance keeps up, it will lead to the film to lose Warner Bros. more than $200 million. Fernando mentioned that Flash is hefty, one hundred and fifty uh, million promotional budget uh, may not have been recouped by box office earnings, and WB would have lost less money releasing it on Max or not releasing it at all. Wow! So where would this stack up against other massive Warner Brothers flops? Due to the global pandemic. And WB's decision to release all of his films day and date in theaters. Several recent films have been big losers for the studio. Uh, Wonder Woman 1984, yeah, that was it was just a bad movie too. Um, the Suicide Squad, so Wonder Woman at 137, Suicide Squad at 120. Two other recent flops day and date releases were the race, The Matrix Resurrection. Uh, uh, that was. Uh, 130 million lost 130 million while the latter vanished 111 million. So they, that's what they lost. So Wonder Woman 1984 lost, lost 137. Suicide Squad lost 120. Wow. Warner Bros. also suffered a couple of pandemic flops during the 2010s. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Lost 153.2 million. And man. Mm. The epic space failure starring Chang Tatum, Jupiter Ascending, lost 120 million. Man. Mm, mm, mm. So right now, Flash is estimated to lead the pack and be their biggest loser. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, is first right now. Woo-wee! You know what I think is so great about The Flash? Is that as irritating as that second Barry was, and as bad as some of the CGI and special effects were, I still liked it. What did I give it a three? Or 2.75? I gave it something like that. Like, that says something. 
You know what I mean? Imagine if they had put more into the budget, toned it down, and Ezra hadn't done the stuff that he did. You never know. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this situation. If you uh, liked my take on it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you in the next one. 10 million subscribers.